politics, religion and sex. You'll find that concoction in the upcoming Man Singapore Theatre Festival. The biennial showcase of local plays is boasting new productions this year that promise to shake up the scene. Evelyn Chu with more. In my world, a woman is the tautness of her flesh. A middle-aged bachelor arrives at the crossroads of love and lust. Which path does he take? The Weight of Silk on Skin is one of three new productions in this year's festival. Playwright Huzair Suleiman is hoping to examine what it means to be a man in today's world. Its main character is played by theatre veteran Ivan Heng, who has had a lot to deal with this year. In the midst of organising the event, his theatre company Wild Rice suffered a cut in funding from the National Arts Council, and a last-minute corporate sponsorship was a welcome relief. I think that as artists, we have to do our job, you know. Um, it's a profession, and our job is to... Um, to look at the problems and the possibilities of our times. And sometimes this means uh, questioning the status quo, challenging assumptions, you know. Um, and that doesn't necessarily sit well sometimes with government agencies, yeah, because everyone wants everything to be status quo and let's not rock the boat. But, you know, in my view, I think that we, we, we need to bring these issues out in the open so they don't actually fester. Uh, and it's my hope that at some point, um, you know, there would be a there be a more enlightened kind of way in which we fund the arts because this is a new play festival, you know, it's new writing, and that is really the core of of, of a theatre scene. If you cannot, if you more power, then say la. You scared to lose things, what is it? Meanwhile, the cast of Cooling Off Day is getting into character. In fact, each actor is playing more than three roles each. The political piece is constructed by 40 unedited interviews of Singaporeans from all walks of life, from election candidates to pro-establishment civil servants, from die-hard opposition supporters to young people casting their vote for the first time in the May general election. Singapore was arrived at a point in this election where people felt they want their stories to be heard. So they agreed actually to be interviewed and they agreed for their voices and their stories to be told in a public space. You know, I think Singapore has a reputation for its citizens not wanting to share those sort of very personal stories. So I think that's really significant. So catch Cooling Off Day and five other stellar productions at the Man Singapore Theatre Festival this August.